Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Guys, we uh, I completed two missions, uh, two jobs for the Halloween stuff. And I know it's uh, no longer Halloween, but if we do enough jobs, we actually get a little achievement and we get a little thing to hang in our truck, which would be kind of cool. So I need to go just up the street and grab the next load. And then we're going to Arizona, which we haven't been to yet. So it'd be kind of fun. I thought we'd record. Looks like my trailer is... Is it in the dirt? Um, might be one of those over there in the dirt. I gotta pull in here and get it. So we're gonna pull in here, I believe. Uh, and that's my semi right there. There it is. With the pumpkins and all. So yeah, we're gonna head west into Arizona. Um, We might have to sleep this one. I'm not sure. I think we're good on gas. It's not a very long trip. It's only, I believe, 380 miles. We're not even straight. There we go. Let's grab that. Let's grab this. And it's 210. We should be there at 8 o'clock. We're heading west, so we're kind of... We're going to try to outrun the sun, even though it's impossible. All right, so we're going to take us into Arizona. And um, so our our driver, our, our, our employee, she actually upgraded. So she's now like 1.7 overall or something like that. And um, I think uh, one of the last jobs that she did, she actually brought in like nine grand, which was kind of cool. So hopefully I got her training the right thing. Of course, there's a train as soon as I want to pull out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull out. And this guy's just going to have to wait. So we're going to get in line here because we got to go up here and make a left. So it's perfect. But of course, we got to wait on a train. So the American train simulator right there will ride trains across America. Oh, well, I think they actually have a game like that, if I remember correctly. But, um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys had a good Halloween. Um, we had a nice one here. It did rain here. I'm in Ohio. It did rain. It's kind of cold. And then, uh, for the past two days, uh, it's just been a complete fog mess. Um, the kids actually were out of school today because of the fog. They had a delay and then they decided to go ahead and shut the schools down. Um, our kids do go to a school that's in a township, so there's a lot of um, uh, non-suburban kids. There's a lot of uh, farming areas and communities out in our area. So there's a lot of, um, a majority of the kids, well, probably 100% of them are bused in. So there's hardly any people that walk. Um, so yeah, they just canceled schools. So the kids have been home all day. I figured I would um, work a majority of the day and then hop on here, record real quick, and then do the dad stuff. So uh, I tried to find a mod that corrected street lights, uh, stoplights like this, because uh, I've timed these and they're insanely long. And some of them are longer than what we just had here. Some of them stay red all four ways, no matter what you do. So. Uh, that's that. So if you guys know of one, let me know. Put it in the comments. What mod helps with traffic lights. Um, so we're going to get up on this highway. I don't think we've been on this highway. It looks like we've been on this highway coming back this way. If we look at the big map. Yeah, so we've been on this highway all the way to Gallup. We haven't been on this. So we're going to go be. We're gonna go through Flagstaff, which would be kind of cool. Did I miss my green light? Because there was a car in front of me, wasn't there? Oh, man. That sucks. Well, I guess we'll just sit here and wait longer. I mean, we've already been, it's already been five minutes and I haven't even got down the street. There we go, there we go. All right, so we have uh, three quarters of a tank of gas. I feel like I just hit somebody. Three quarters of a tank of gas. We're like 50% tired, but I think we can make, I mean, this is what, a six hour drive? We should be able to make it. We should be able to make it. This highway here is pretty easy though. Pretty straight high. Uh oh, it's a pretty straight highway. You can let me on. There we will. And I still haven't figured out how to get rid of the speed limiter. <laughs> like I can't get above 65. 
Now, if I do regular contracts, I can go as fast as I want. But on these... These uh, contracts I've been doing for this special... This event... Um, it just does not allow your truck to go any quicker. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's that... Uh, maybe it's something in... Like a governor switch or something that they put on your truck. So you drive appropriately. Getting over in your lane, dude. Should I turn my turn signal on, but I'm sorry. It's kind of busy. It's uh, 2.50, almost 3 o'clock, so... We're going to run into some busy traffic, I'd imagine, getting out of, out of New Mexico, going into Arizona. So yeah, we're far, far away from home. Uh, you can see there on my dash, 1,568 miles. That's how much we've driven. And I haven't been back home. <laughs> I have not yet been back home. We do need to go back up there, though, because um, there is a... Uh, once we level up, there is a truck, a truck to uh, place there that we can take our truck to and sell it and upgrade. I'd like to upgrade and get one that has a sleep cab on it. Um, and then we can focus on long trips. I think the longest trip I saw on the work board was um, I think 700 miles. I paid close to $50,000. But I decided I didn't want to do that one just right yet. So yeah, I'm going to drive. You guys enjoy it, like, like we usually do. If uh, anything important happens, I'll bring you back.
I've never been to Arizona. Um, and I don't know what I was expecting, but when we came around that corner to Flagstaff and saw all those pine trees, uh, that kind of surprised me. And I didn't realize that there's, I mean, I know Arizona is, you know, on the verge of going into the mountains, but I just, for whatever reason in my mind, Arizona is like really brown and tan and sandy. And there's still a lot of, you know, not a lot of grass here. And I'm, I'm sure this isn't, you know, completely accurate, but a lot of trees here. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Which is kind of cool. You uh, get to learn a lot in this game just by driving around. So it's kind of fun. So we're almost there. we got 40 more miles to go. Uh, we're going to have to definitely sleep after this. So we'll have to go to a rest stop and take a snooze. I didn't, haven't seen anything come across uh, on our co-worker. So I don't know if they've done a job. Oh, don't turn. Why are you turning your brakes on? semi in front of us is being cautious. They must have a lot of, a lot in the back. This is a really windy road, isn't it? Tell you what, the view though coming through here was amazing. I mean, you had like plateaus, you had some ravines, lots of sand, and then bam, green. But the drive has been really nice, really nice. Always, you're always on the highway, no back roads. I did see a sign back there, though, that said uh, Los Angeles, so that'd be kind of fun if we get a job and just go... Oh, I see cop car. Get a job and just go ahead and go into Los Angeles. <laughs> just make our way into California. I wonder if the jobs are more expensive there. That'd be one big round trip, wouldn't it? Going from Utah all the way down here, all the way to California, and then head all the way back up. We'd have to go through the mountains, go back through Colorado. Or Nevada. So it looks like our exit's up. Oh yeah, my guy's tired. It looks like our exit's right up here, so we're here. Good things. My guy just yawned. So this is our exit. Camp Birthday. Almost didn't make that. Oh, good. This is a stop sign, not a. There we go. All right, let's uh, get up here. It's just right up here on the right, and there's a rest stop up here, which is great. Rest stop and uh, gas station, because we're gonna need gas too. We're about a quarter of a tank left. Just over a quarter of a tank. Looks like we need to turn in here and turn in there. They're probably gonna make us go in that that door right there. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Oh. I know you're tired, dude. All right. Uh, there. We can try it. All right. We'll just have to let's see how we can do this. All right. Let's turn this. Let's change our view. Get our wheel turned so we can get this trailer turned. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I think this is gonna be one of our tricky ones, trickier ones. All right, straighten her out. They didn't leave us very much light back here, did they? Holy crap! All right, so let's. We got this. We went up the curb a little bit, but that's fine. Ooh. All right, there we go. Should be right on it. Bam. Cool. Did it, guys. So that's actually our third mission that we've completed, um, I think, or it might be our fourth, but let's see what we got here. 
Uh, World of Trucks contracts completed. We actually have nine. Okay, cool. So we have nine. We have nine completed. We need 13. Uh, that's awesome. So we are already up uh, over level 10, which means I believe that we can get uh, a new... Oh, we got a, we got a thing here. So let's do um, long distance. What about fragile cargo? We haven't done anything like that. Let's do fuel economy. That way we can, we can save some gas. I think I want to do that. All right, let's do that. 10% saved gas. Cool, guys. So you can see here, happy Halloween, 3 of 13. Progress, 3 of 13. I don't know why it's uh, not registering that we have all the other contracts because uh, it literally just said the game contains an art. Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, we just got done doing that contracts. I'm going to do a couple more contracts and then we'll record. Uh, I think I'll record the next time uh, us actually getting the achievement, which would be kind of cool. Or uh, we'll just we'll just play around and, and see what's going on. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It might have been short by the time I edited it, but that's kind of cool. And uh, I will see you next time.